is going to be a video review of the Samsung 4K UHD 32 inch curve monitor. The box is like 17 pounds. The box is huge. And when you look at the monitor in the store, it's huge. It's really big. I mean, it's really big. But it might not be as big as the box looks. So sorry that this is sitting on a bed because I have no other way to film this and make it come out good. So it's UHD 4 uh, millisecond. Fast response time, 1 billion colors, picture by picture, it's got a gaming mode, I don't know what the heck that does, it's got a curvature, a bezel-less design, it's on sale right now for like, I don't know what I paid, maybe a hundred bucks off, or I'm going to set it up and see if I like it or if I want to return it, I think it has a, I can't remember that new uh, connector they're using, plus it's got an HDMI, I don't think it has VGA. How messy this is, this is my uh, monitor I have now, I probably a 27 inch, I think 26, 27 inch. And I'm doing some uh, rendering on it right now for one of my videos that I'm going to post. So this monitor, you know, you can see that it almost comes to the edge of the table. Um, it comes to the almost the edge on both sides. But the advantage of the curved is it's supposed to curve inward a little bit towards you and it's going to obviously hang out a couple inches on both sides. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I really don't. I love the monitor. I didn't realize it was as big as it is. So I'm going to unbox it now, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just take it back. But uh, overall, the reviews I've seen online are really, really good. Again, I bought this at Costco. You can buy it probably on Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link. So if you want to buy it, click on the link. It will help me. It will help you. Uh, if you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. You know the thing. You want to support me, ask for my PayPal info. So I'm going to unbox this thing now. I'm not going to show you me. I'm not going to show the unboxing part. I'll just show, uh, I'll connect it. I'll show you the back, the front. and If I don't like it, I'll box it up. The problem with monitors is when you put the stand on there, half the time you can't take the stand out. You can't reach in and press the button to remove the, the stand. So I hope, hope that's not a problem if I decide to box this up again. You got a position, a control stick that looks like the power switch, power on, power, okay, so that's a couple different languages. It's a standard thing, the power button, um, how to angle it, how not to angle it, and then I guess, I don't know what the heck that is. Yeah, I work with uh, words, I don't really work with pictures too well. Pictures are for people that really don't know what they're doing, so let me unbox this now. I told you I'm not going to show you an unboxing, so I will not sh show you an unboxing. This is really packed well. Oh my god. That is what it looks like in the box. It's curved upward. So people that say the box is really big and it's not the same size, yeah, the box is about an inch narrower left to right than the whole monitor, maybe an inch and a half on each side and it's curved upwards, so this thing is huge. That is the bottom of the box. Monitor sitting on the floor over there. We have uh, probably the base, some stuff, probably cables in the box. Looks like the handle, the lever or something, and two little things to, to support it. You always want to do this so that if you have to re return something, you know how to box it back up. Film it, record it, take photos. That is the back of the monitor. The HDMI I've got connected on the left, it comes with a really nice, a very nice <clears throat> heavy-duty HDMI cable, which I did not connect yet. Um, it's got the power cord on the right. There are two other jacks on there. Um, hold on, on the other side of the room. And it's got an adjustable thing. This whole thing's adjustable. But the idea is that you take these cords. How do I do this? I think the cords come out here. And then this fancy schmancy little thing goes on there. And how did this snap in? It, it's kind of nice how they did this thing. Uh, the, the legs, I'm going to show you the legs in a minute. That is the power button. It will press it in. It turns on. You got the up, down, I think left and right to get different menus and adjusting settings. So, uh... I'm going to turn this thing around, plug it in, and we'll check it out for the first time together, see what happens. That big white brick down there, that's the power AC adapter. I don't like that at all. 
I don't know what these people were thinking. Maybe they need to do that because it's a big transformer. It takes up so much room. If I didn't plug it in over there, it was going to take up all the room on the box over there. I couldn't plug it into the out thing over there because it takes up uh, the width of two power things. So unless you put it on the end or get it out of the way, you get problems. Let's check it out now. Now, if you remember, I said it was going to go to the end of the table. This uses about as much width as the 27, 28 inch monitor that I had, or I think it was 27. It uses the same width of the table. It's really not hanging over. So let's press the button. Did that turn it on? I don't know if it's gonna come on. I don't know what I need to do. Okay, whoa! Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. The optimal, this monitor is as follows, 3840 by 2160. That's what I'm shooting this video in. Use the above settings to set the resolution on your PC. I can't go that high. Um, current resolution is <laughs> current resolution on my PC is 1920 by. Wow. The optimal resolution for this monitor is 3840 by 21. Even at look at that 1920. Look how clean that is. Look how pretty this is for 1920. Oh, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to try this now. I'm probably not going to be happy, but let's go check it out. Here I was thinking. Oh, I have to put in a password. I don't think I'm going to like. It's really. I can't zoom out anymore. I don't know that I'm going to like doing the uh, 2160 resolution. But we're going to check it out. So far, I'm really, really impressed. I was thinking, okay, I'll do a good review if I like it, if I don't like it, and then um, I'll take it back. And um, display resolution there. It shows over there, 1920 by 1080. And that's what I shoot, well, when I do my HD... Oh my God, um, I have never gone up this high in a resolution before, recommended. Okay, so you can see over here, we've got these nice big things and it's easier for me to see. When I go to this slow, high resolution, I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. What's it gonna do to my screen? Look how tiny that is. I know it's gonna make the video, let's keep the changes for now. Some apps won't respond to scaling change until you close and reopen them. Um, change the size of the text and other things to 150 recommended. Night light off. I mean, look at how tiny that is. That's really tiny. Um, why is that not showing my... I was uploading video. Where did, wh why did this close? Oh my God. So everything really shrinks up. What I'm gonna do now, I mean, look at, this is about a third. They're, that's what they were talking about, scaling. I'm gonna go and scale this really big. And I just made it full screen. And when I make it full screen, look at that. This is pretty darn neat. This is really cool. I am, I'm very surprised. I am really surprised here. Um, wow. I'm speechless. I'm just sitting here looking at this stuff going like, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is incredible. Um, very easy to set up. I needed one screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver and a flat blade to mount the little uh, stand over there. The stand definitely is wide, so you're gonna need some room. It's not at the back of the, you don't wanna slide that off the back of the table or pa poof, this thing is gonna break. This thing is huge. I'm gonna tell you that this thing is huge. But it is really no different than the size 
of a standard 27 inch monitor it's maybe hanging oh it barely hangs over it's maybe another inch and a half wider on both sides but they're getting the the width of the screen because it's um it's curved now i'm going to shrink this down and this is what it was originally this is what i had this was my monitor so you can see what it gives me it gives me all this other stuff and then there is a setting in here where you can attach two different pcs to this monitor and using the two cables so if you have the right connections there is no vga as you saw hdmi and then i forget what other port that thing is called um so there's a picture in picture i guess that's what the uh the two cables are for i don't know if i'm uploading still or not um and i'm gonna keep it and so you can see this this is what the original was the 1920 by 1080 can i zoom out a little yeah there it is and then i'm gonna go click to enlarge it and you're gonna see it's gonna fill this whole screen over here which i could have done with the 27 inch but i don't think it would have i don't think oh it's not focusing too well oh yeah it is i don't think i would have been able to see it so i i haven't even made any adjustments what kind of adjustments oh, 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 oh. i don't know what kind of adjustments you could make oh it's got a volume thing okay so that would be nice i don't even know where the speakers are in here but that is nice because then i is there there was a little jack in there okay so i could put connect my thing so i wouldn't have to have this box on the ground even though it's got a base thing so that might be nice so that was that's volume that's up and down okay that turned it off eye saver mode is off brightness contrast eye saver mode and that's pretty much it I'm going to leave it alone for a few seconds and hopefully that's going to reset and turn off. It does. Volume. Source. So you got your sources, your, uh, it's the display port. That's what I was talking about. The display port. I don't have a display port. HDMI. HDMI. So I got my picture back. The one on the right. PB picture. Turn PB mode on or off. It's off now. I think that's picture in picture, but I don't know. Um, off. How do you exit? I mean, there's a thing over there to exit, but I don't know what you need to do. I'm just going to wait. Hopefully it's going to shut off. Exit is to the left. Okay, so that works. Um, what's the top? Top is the menu. What's the menu? We've got your... Your picture, your brightness, contrast, sharpness, color, uh, HDMI, black levels are low. You got your PVP, your on-screen display. I don't know what that is. Um, system information. What's system information? Self-diagnosis, smart, ECO, savings, off timer plus, PC, AV mode, display, port, version, Source detection. I was thinking maybe this had a uh, key repeat timer. Okay, so the arrows are really good to get you to where you need to go. What is PBP? So the menus are really good for exit. I like this thing. I'm, you know, I spent, I think I said I spent $3.99 on this thing, and I believe it was $60 or $80 or $100 bucks off. Um, I'm going to try to find an Amazon link online if i can find the link i'm going to put a video description i'm going to put the link in my video description uh click on it to buy it from amazon it's uh it will help me out it will help you out if you buy it at costco hey still if you buy on amazon go click on my affiliate links it will help me um do a thumbs up subscribe like share this is not uploading anymore this is all hd so i don't know if uh if it's screwed up when when i shut the the uh browser off but this is really nice the picture is absolutely beautiful. The monitor looks really cool on the table. Looks very stylish. It is big. There's no doubt this is big, but I'm shooting HD video right now, and I think this is going to make a lot of difference when I get into the uh, into the editor, which I, which I just closed off. So, uh, yeah.
definitely you want to buy this. Um, I don't know what the model number was. I'll put all that stuff in the video description. Um, but yeah, this is neat. This is really neat. This is a good purchase. I'm not a gamer. If you're worried about if, is this fast enough for your games, I have no interest in games. I have no, I don't spend my life playing games. Um, I couldn't answer if it's fast enough or, like I said, it's got a gaming mode um, for video, and that's what I do is YouTube video. I am very happy, well worth the money. It's a good purchase.